Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. Today students we are going to see the one more type of reaction that is called as Grignard reaction. This is the Grignard reaction students. Grignard reagent is a very powerful base. It is a good source of nucleophilic carbon atom which take part in attack on variety of electrophilic carbon atom present in different functional group forming a diverse range of product. Alkyl that is R, aryl that is AR, magnesium halide is called Grignard reagent in dry ether, in presence of dry ether. We can say dry ether. Now what happens to this is the RMGX that is R will always have negative charge, magnesium positive and this is alkyl halide which is also negative charge. Now what happens to homolytic fusion will take place and will form R minus MGX positive. Same thing is there if it is aromatic ring attached to the magnesium and it is attached to the alkyl halide. Now here students we have given the example formaldehyde when react with the methyl magnesium halide in presence of dry ether there is a addition product we are getting and in presence of water hydrolysis acidic hydrolysis students you are getting benzyl alcohol and magnesium bromide hydroxide you are getting as a byproduct so this way you can convert formaldehyde into the benzyl alcohol because you have used phenyl magnesium bromide so this way you can convert formaldehyde and in presence of uh, second reactant will be phenyl magnesium bromide so you are getting benzyl alcohol now students we will see the mechanism there is a formation of carbon ion students. This is the alkyl magnesium halide students. What happens students? When the fusion will take place, there is a formation of carbon ions. And you are getting this is the alkyl which has got negative charge. It is students, which acts as a nucleophilic carbon. It is a powerful base. Now what happens students? Nucleophilic addition reaction with this R minus having two electrons will form the addition product with the carbonyl compound like this. Now what happens students in presence of magnesium? Magnesium halide, there is addition product and on the water hydrolysis, acidic water hydrolysis students, it will convert the product in like this and you are getting magnesium hydroxide halide as a byproduct. Now scope of the reaction, ether is required for stabilization of Grignard reagent through the coordination. Now students, if ether, in presence of dry ether we are saying, so this ether will make the RMGS that is alkyl magnesium halide stable. From both the side, they will attach to the magnesium. Same thing will be there in aryl magnesium halide also there is a ether and they will uh, students you can they, they are stabilizing the aryl magnesium halide also now what happens students the reaction requires dry condition as grignard reagent react with the moisture as follows because the all the reaction which are be taking place students in absence of water if water will be there which students there is a methyl magnesium bromide will convert into methane and you are getting this type of byproduct estimation estimation of number of hydrogen atom in the compound students number of hydrogen atom in the compounds you can find out the hydrogen atom attached to the oxygen nitrogen and sulfur extra are called as active hydrogen the grignard react with the active hydrogen and liberate hydrocarbons each active hydrogen atom liberates one mole of alkanes therefore by knowing amount of alkane liberated from a known weight of active hydrogen compound number of active hydrogen atom can be estimated methyl magnesium bromide combines with methanol you are getting one methane molecules and this is the product now what happens students methyl magnesium bromide combines with two molecules of methyl magnesium combines with methanamine here you have two active hydrogen atoms you are getting two types of methane methane as a hydrocarbons now what happens students here you have only one type of active hydrogen atom so you are getting only one type of one mole of alkanes so this way you students you can uh, find out the active hydrogen present present in the compound now students we are going to see the application Synthesis of alcohol, aldehyde and ketones and acid. So students we can synthesize the alcohol, aldehyde, ketones and acid with the help of the Grignard reagent. So first we will see the synthesis of alcohols. Now Grignard reagent combines with formaldehyde students, it will give primary alcohols. Grignard reagent react this is compound you are getting primary alcohols. Grignard reagent react with the alkyl aldehyde that is the except formaldehyde, it will give you secondary alcohols grignard reagent when react with the ketone it will give you tertiary alcohol so these type of alcohols you are getting from the grignard reagent now synthesis of aldehyde synthesis of aldehyde and ketones grignard reagent react with hydrogen cyanide will give you always gives you aldehyde and grignard reagent when react with the alkyl cyanide it will give you ketone synthesis of acid grignard reagent react with dry carbon dioxide that is dry ice you can say dry ice carbon dioxide dry carbon dioxide is also called dry ice so you will get acid synthesis of citral strength what happens to students how you are going to get this these two reactants combines in presence of dry ether and hydrolysis acidic hydrolysis you are getting the citral 
Now, students, we can also synthesis the terpene oil. So what happens, students? This is the reactant in presence of methyl magnesium bromide. You are getting this. There is addition product. Now, on acidic hydrolysis, students, they will form the compound. And again, there is a methyl magnesium bromide. And acidic hydrolysis, you will get the alpha terpene oil. This is the structure of alpha terpene oil. Now, students, we can also synthesize the vitamin A. So, C14 aldehyde combines with this. Now, how you are getting from the, this reactant students? So, this is again combined. This com compound will combine with the methyl magnesium bromide and it will, it will form the this type of reactant. And this reactant will combine with C14 aldehyde and you are getting as a product and that is the called as vitamin A. Now, students, synthesis of tramadol. Now, what has students? This is the Grignard reagent combines with the reactant in presence of dry ether and there is acidic hydrolysis and there is elimination of magnesium hydroxide bromide and you are getting tramadol. This is the structure of tramadol. Preparation of beta substituted ketone. Now what happens students? This is the Grignard reagent. This Grignard reagent react with this compound and it will form the addition product. Now this addition product students on acidic hydrolysis. On acidic hydrolysis it will eliminate the compound and it will convert it into beta substituted ketone. This is the beta substituted ketone. Now action of Grignard reagent on lactone. Students, we, have, we are going to prepare monocyclic lactone. Now, this is the monocyclic lactone. Students, when react with the Grignard reagent, it is, it is converted into the addition product. This addition product on acidic hydrolysis, we are getting delta hydroxy ketone. Now, students, we can bicyclic lactone. This is the bicyclic lactone. Students, when react with the methyl magnesium halide, that is Grignard reagent, and it will form the addition product. This addition product on acidic hydrolysis, students, it will give you this type of compound and this compound on NaOH and aldol condensation it will eliminate water molecules and it is converted into enone so these are the very important compound students we have got so these are this is the very important application for the Grignard reagent if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much